A top official says there's a new plan to stop car thefts by teenagers. As we've been reporting, carjackings and thefts have surged, especially those involving young people. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us why some question the new prevention strategy. Carjackings, car thefts, and car chases ending in catastrophe. And the offenders sometimes as young as 12. What we are trying to do is intervene. This is a focused intervention. The Hennepin County attorney unveiled a plan to do just that, working with police departments to identify kids who could fall into trouble and giving support to parents who say they don't know how to handle their kids' behavior. We don't want youth to have records. And so what we want to do is intervene, intervene effectively and early on in the hopes that we can get the youth and their family services that they need. Mary Moriarty says community organizations and parents are key and that they're working together. So I do think there's a definite bridge there. For some context here, the county attorney's press conference was on the bottom floor this morning, emphasizing the need for community. Well, WCCO had been called to another press conference moments later by community members saying they didn't even know about the county attorney's plans. What do you feel like? I think there could be a bridge. We didn't know that the county attorney was working on anything around this issue. We just got together as a group and said, we need to address this publicly. I, I believe that ultimately at the end of the day, all of, this, all of these carjacks are coming from a lack of resources with the kids. And that's the shared hope that more parental support will mean fewer thefts and greater futures. In Minneapolis, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO News. The new plan also means kids who are charged will move through the legal process more quickly.